Hi, my name is Luis Barajas, and I'm a wealth manager and partner for MGO Private Wealth. Creating a financial foundation is crucial for any athlete. And the reason for that is imagine that, you know, you're building a skyscraper on a very shallow foundation. Eventually what's going to happen, that skyscraper is going to fall over, right? So what we have to do as a wealth manager is dig really deep to make sure that that growth of that athlete continues and never falters and never shakes. So what is a foundation made out of? Foundation is savings, um, aligning your values with your goals, setting up an estate plan, um, making sure that you're not paying more taxes than you should. All those things are crucial, but are not urgent. So most people don't spend time on that. They want to focus on building their wealth through the investment side. But building that financial foundation is the most important thing that any athlete can do first. When most people sit down and write their goals, they're really focused on just the dollars and the time frame, right? But it's really important that you sit down and talk about what's important to you. And what I mean about that is that you're, you have to discuss what your values are. What is really important to you? Because what we want to do is we want to align your values, such as uh, financial security, you value education for your children, um, you value a great, strong marriage. Um, what, what do you value and how do we align your resources so that those resources will give you and, and get you to the goals that you want to be, but when you get there, you know that you're happy, you're content, you're living a great life and a great lifestyle, right? There's nothing worse than someone who climbs a ladder of success and they climbed up the wrong ladder. We want to make sure that always we get to really know how, uh, what's important to you, what really matters to you. So once we've taken that shovel and actually built your foundation deeper, right, we've taken care of the estate plan, we've taken a look, take a look at the taxes, we've taken a look at your savings, now we want to focus on the growth. What does that mean? Well, that means investing, but also what's important for you is remember as an athlete, you're a brand. And part of your brand, you have to invest in yourself. And how are you investing in yourself for growth? So beyond just the investing in stocks and bonds and investment portfolios, we want to take a look at how we can help you grow as you as a person and as the brand of, of who you are. Yeah, so once you've started building your foundation deep, what you want to do is you want to grow, right? And so the first thing that we want to focus on, not just the investment side, but you want to focus on yourself because you're a brand. And building that brand requires investing in yourself and, and you know, how other people are, are looking at you and what's important to you and how, how do you want to also get sponsorships and make some more money. But also, you also want to start thinking about investing, right? We're never talking about a plan B. We're always talking about something else that's also going to provide income streams for you for the future. So you're going to be looking at, besides stocks and bonds, you're going to take a look at real estate, you're going to take a look at private equity. You want to start focusing on investing beyond just your brand and just what's in front of you. And think about how um, the investing is going to take you to past your career and into the future. So you not only be helping yourself, but your family and also leaving a legacy. All of a sudden, you sign this big contract and you're making all this money, but you don't have that financial literacy. That's part of the financial foundation that I talked about earlier is one of the things that's important for you to do is really kind of start learning about all the aspects of, of finances. Now, you don't need to get down in the weeds or know the details, right? I don't need to know how to dunk a basketball to enjoy a basketball game, but it's really important if I'm really going to enjoy the game that I learn the rules of the game. And so what I want to teach is financial literacy, that's all it is. It's learning the rules of the game. So when you're sitting down and talking to a professional, um, you know what questions to ask, because that's truly important. Knowing uh, what are their fees, what are the designations, what's the experience, um, what questions to ask about investing, whether it's in stocks or bonds. And so again, it's not important that you learn how, that I learn how to dunk a basketball, it's important that if I want to really enjoy the, 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 the game, I know the rules. And that's what financial literacy really is. It's just kind of learning the rules of the game. So once you sign that financial contract and you're expecting that big check, your whole life is going to change because your financial life is going to get very complex, very complicated. 
And so what is important then that you build a team around you. Just like as an athlete, you have always have a team around you. It's really important that you build a financial team, whether it's a business manager, uh, a, a tax person, the wealth manager, a team you can trust. Because there will be issues that are, will be a, uh, beyond your understanding. And so even though you're learning financial literacy, you're gonna need a team that has the expertise, that has you know, the, the knowledge, um, has done this before for other people just like you. And that's the, the, the most important thing to really comprehend is that building that team if you've got really complex problems uh, ahead of you.